Welcome back devotees! I know it's been quite a while since the last animal only video, so hopefully I didn't keep you emo from waiting too long. But Genshin finally released a new animal character Xinyun, who is perfect for this account. So today I'll be wishing for it with a primo gems I've saved up for the course of 3 months since last pony Venti, and test her out with my animal team after building her. She's definitely changed my animal only account for the better, because we not only get a second healer finally, Xinyun also buffs my shells' damage. I also do stream on Twitch with animal only as well, so if you want to see more of the behind the scenes content, make sure to follow me there and join me when I'm Live. Otherwise, enjoy the video. Like, my Fowls and Cons was all obtained in my Wanderer polls back when Wanderer was here and I got C2 of him. So, I don't really need Wanderer, like, Fowls and Cons this time around. So, I'm just hoping for the Shen Yun win. That'll be good. Alright, well, I get 50 50 win. Uh, let me check my pity. I'm at 2 pity, so I need to probably do like 70 70 polls. Please don't give me D Duke. So, I'm gonna be polling probably for 70 times. I doubt I'll get early because I'm just not really that lucky, but we'll see. Alright, first tempo. The four stars is whatever, since Faro's on is already C6. But if I get an off banner like maybe Hazel, Sayu, Sucrose, that'll be cool. God Noel, of course. Not sure if this is a lucky or a bad omen because I'm pretty sure every time I got Noel when I pull on this banner, it was pretty bad. So, so this is 20 or 22. A Favonius Great Sword, okay. So, off banner, not a character, but a weapon. Okay, I'm starting to eat into my primo gems with my 32 pull. A Farozan, uh, I don't really need. But it would have been cool if I didn't have Farozan, though. Okay, so that was 32, right? Uh, 42. Yup, another weapon, okay. Favonius Codex. Maybe this is for my Shenyun, potentially. Okay, that kind of sucks. 62, I believe? Wow. Oh, he's talking. Yep, I don't even need him on this account. <laughs> 72. Don't give me a 5 star here. Okay, good. Because maybe this place isn't really luck lucky for 50-50s. Oh. That would be nice if it's like on an account I can actually use him, but too bad. Okay, I believe the next tempo is pity, right? Let's just get this uh 50 50 loss, cause I'm sniffing at 50 50 loss. Okay, maybe this is 72. I might have miscounted. Another one? Oh, sword. Okay, let's see. Get double five stars, right? Copium. Uh, seventy four. So next one is soft pity. Seventy five. Seventy six. Seventy seven. That kind of scared me. I thought it was like a claymore character coming. Was this like very very hard pity? What? <laughs> no. Not even Gene, by the way. Okay, uh, let's go back to the rock, I guess. Maybe that's luckier. To be fair, Tenor isn't that bad, but like, the thing is, I don't even use any of them in my account. The only characters I use is Animal. Okay, but we can still kind of get early pity, right? So it isn't that bad if I get her early. Watch me get CJ jamming, though, if I lose. So, uh, I guess 10, since I think I got him at the last possible pull. 10. 20? C3 now, I think. 30? I haven't gotten early pity in so long, by the way. Oh, official. I think this game is just giving me ev everything besides animal characters. 40? Okay, still purple. I mean, a 0.6% is very really hard to hit, anyways. Another foul zone, plus a weapon. Uh, 50. So I think I'll only have like enough. Primos for Xiao, like only 40k or so. So, yeah, getting a little bit hard to get like C3 or C2 at least. Yeah, I think I'm going all the way to Pity, so as expected. I think that's 70 posts already, right? So. I 
At least it's 80, right? Uh, double five stars? No. Nope. Didn't know as well. Yep. I think this is like probably like 76, 77 or something, but not the best polling session. Let's just say that. Vote Timo now. Yep. Okay, uh, we're just gonna go set up one constellation because I don't really think there's a point of pulling for more. But I'll probably have around 50k or so for Xiao, so that's good at least. Plus, I haven't collected these yet, so I'll get more primos from this. The materials we need are. Ah! <laughs> I might actually run out of these things as well! What? That sucks. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna go fight a boss now, because I need to build her. Yeah, also this boss, I'm just gonna solo it because it's easier to solo than do it in co-op. Especially when I can't use pyro characters or cryo, so I finish off by stepping on this thing. Like, I kind of wish we could ride on that thing, because it's pretty big. You again? Okay, I don't think today is my day, to be honest. Like, this boss has animal resistance as well, so like... As an animal only account, it's pretty annoying. Just wishing it doesn't show up in the abyss anytime soon. And also, I'm glad it isn't really pure, I guess, animal just immunity, so at least I can just hit it with Wonder as well. Well, I really need my healer, honestly. <laughs> I'm touching water. Wait, actually, not yet. Alright, Hydro Swirls, do the animal attack, I dare you. Oh, he's doing it. Oh, yup. I was baiting for that move while Kazos' burst is on. Alright, no freeze, so I gotta just kinda avoid it. Oh. I think even if I miss my burst, I can still heal, right? Since I'm using, like, the uh, Prototype Amber. I keep getting two of these! Why, why do I get so many gladiator circlets? Oh, that sucks. Oh, I got a purple chunk. So this is pretty good because I'm kind of lacking in this, but I got two of these. So that kind of sucks. So this boss also dropped the hydro chunks, which is kind of unfortunate because this account won't be using any of those. But it can also just kind of exchange it for uh, an animal one, right? All right. That was painful. I actually just never realized I have 169 fragiles on this account. Okay, at least I got rewarded with three, right? That's good. Can I help you? Can I AFK while you fight and suffer? If you do that, maybe I'll just stand around and just, I guess, wait for you to kill it. And then after that, I'll come get a loot. All right, but now we can just watch Cantaloupe suffer. Uh, good luck. At least you have a healer, so you won't die, right? Yup. That's our first death. <laughs> I mean, maybe I should be helping. Well, thank you, Candelope. Hopefully, you en also enjoyed the fight. <laughs> you know, you can just fight it yourself with like cryo characters, but I'm glad you wanted to help. All right, I need like 12 more, so I think four more runs will do it, right? Copium? What weapon are you gonna use for Shen Yun? I actually don't know. Like, unless I count, I missed the event with the like, Oath Sworn. So, like, right now, I still have to think about her build. Uh, like, other than... I don't know, maybe Favonius I could use? Or maybe this one? Wait. This one is, like, DPS-wise. I forgot who they made this weapon for. It does have energy recharge substats. Sacrificial trade, I don't think it's that good. I might have to use Favonius. Maybe pull for a weapon? Uh, I don't know, because, like, if I pull Nahida's weapon, then it's basically a loss for me. I'd rather save my primos for Shao's banner instead. Wait, does this weapon actually look that flat? I didn't know that it looked like this. But yeah, I think this weapon is actually pretty good though. But like, it's paired off Nahida's weapon, which I don't really want. I mean, I can just save for like, she uses this rerun and hopefully she'll get paired off with a character that's better to pull with. She wants attack percent on her weapon. But like, then I don't have any other weapon that's attack percent though. Because I missed the Oath Sworn. Which is attack person like free to play one that is good. Yeah, I don't have any attack person weapons. 
Like, is there any other four star weapon that gives attack percent or not? Purple ball? The one that's physical? Is that actually good? I thought that was just a meme. No one charge attack. So we just want this for the sub stats, basically. Not like the passives. I feel like Favonius is probably better than like I have perception, but I could have level up both of the weapons and just try it out, because I do need like a physical build. Kinda like the memes. That kind of sucks how when you miss an event on one account, because this account, I'm pretty sure I created it after the Oath Sworn event. So I unfortunately missed that weapon. But yeah, when you miss one event, then you don't you don't get it limb ever again. So what do I do? I like to buy some weapons or something? Oh, I actually have all of them, I think. Wait, no. I need these things. But which one is it? Is it the Catalyst? This one? Oh. When using an elemental skill, all elemental skill damage will be increased by 8% and a bond of life worth of 24% max HP will be granted. What's a bond of life? Is it like a shield or something? Okay, not bad. Oh, it's like HP draining mechanic? Okay. Uh, right now, we're just kind of farming for like the Fontaine craftable weapon. I still need to like kind of mine apparently, but I don't know how to mine. <laughs> Wait, is it still burning up? It is! I haven't done the world quest for this yet. What else do I get like the... This blue crystal in? Okay. I hope I have countless materials though. Because like I'm pretty sure I use a lot on the uh, prototype amber. <laughs> uh, so there's this one, right? I got the uh, flowing purity weapon. And then uh, let's see if we can craft it actually. So... Do I have... Oh... Wait, I need 50 of these? Okay. Where do I go to find this? Okay. I can craft one. So this weapon is pretty good because it has attack percent like stats and the elemental skill is something I'll be using on Shenyu, of course. So I'll be crafting this weapon and just testing it out and see like how it goes. Alright, what does this weapon need for materials wise? I hope it doesn't require new stuff from Fontaine, which I'm pretty sure it does. Okay, so I need Rift Hound, not Rift Hound, so the little ball enemies and also Fontaine Aberrants, so that kind of sucks. But I guess I can farm this thing today as well because since today is Sunday, because I don't have any of them for some reason. I thought I did my events, but apparently not. Okay, the enemies in here actually look pretty easy, though. But there's five of them, so... So there's another wave, apparently, after this. There's so many mecha enemies in the domains. Okay, I thought I dodged her, but apparently not. One, five, five, okay. Okay, I think I got like enough greens at least, so let me just try enhancing the weapon now. Okay, uh, let's see. So this is the weapon I'm going to be focusing on for Shen Yun. Uh, let's see, just enhance this to plus 20 first and see what other materials we need or if we lack anything else. Level 50. Okay, I'm already running out of materials. Alright, maybe I can craft them and see, but yeah. As you can see, I haven't really farmed much on this account. So I needed the uh, things over here. Let me use close and see. And I believe I also need something else that I forgot. This thing. Yeah. I haven't even farmed this thing at all, so... When it comes to the little water things, I don't have any. Okay. Flowing purity. Let's enhance this again. Now I'm plus 70. It gives a whopping 22% attack. Which is not bad, actually. And I can actually level this weapon to 80 if I want to, because I need two of these things. So I guess we can farm some of the bosses, or like the enemies here. Wait, you see that thing? I just realized I have an emergency chest here as well. Yeah, I just kind of chilling here. <laughs> I thought this blue thing was called foreign substance for a second there. I gotta avoid opening the chest, because we don't want to do that. Emergency what? chest is like finding money in your couch after a while. <laughs> yeah! Like, I didn't even remember that this thing existed, but I was like, okay. 
Like, I mean, I kind of remember right now, but I'll probably forget about a chest in like a few days. <laughs> I mean, speaking of which, let me see if I have enough materials now. Because I did kind of fought a few enemies. Okay, I do have enough materials. So I could level up this weapon to 80. But I think I could... Maybe I'll just stop here for now because... I can't really take it any further. So I'll say this is good enough for now. And uh, I'll just kind of put my resins into the other boss. Yeah. So this weapon is level 80 now. But yeah, uh, so for Cloud Eternal, I think I'm going to use a healing bonus circlet, of course. So I'm thinking about doing a two-piece, two-piece, actually. So I think if I wasn't blind or wasn't like mistaken i did have a pretty good healing bonus circlet yeah this one is pretty good actually so i'm gonna use this one so this already has like an attack percent right i'm gonna use two pieces gladiator and two pieces like maybe something else for attack percent so goblet of course i'm gonna find an attack percent one as well for her which hopefully i have one i have like so many double crit ones but i'm looking for an energy recharge and potentially some crit rate as well wow i have so many vv ones for some reason Hmm, attack percent idea I'm kind of lacking. Uh, sands, let me check. Because it also depends on what kind of artifacts that I'm using on. For a 2 piece 2 piece I would rather use Gladiator, but I could also use like Shimanawa as well if I want to. Hmm, I have no artifacts with um, energy as well. That has crit rate. Wait, actually I could use Shouse's artifact maybe. I guess artifact is pretty good, but it has so high defense. Maybe this one. So it has very good energy recharge actually. Uh, let me see if I actually have... I do! Wait, why is my shell not using this thing? What? Oh, thank you for the artifact, I guess, shell. Alright, I have two pieces of a million as well. Why is my shell using, actually? Because I'm kind of getting distracted. Ah, he's using a better artifact. I wonder. But, this is actually looking pretty good, right? Two pieces of a million. I just need, like, a feather or maybe a goblet. But, I think I have more feathers than goblets, so... Wait, actually, I don't! I seriously so don't have any... Gladiator feathers? That's double crit? Okay, I do have one, two, but like, there's no energy recharge at all. Okay, I might need a goblet over here. Yeah. So attack for some goblet for um, gladiator piece, preferably, which I only have one here. Hmm. That's kind of bad. Um, let's see. I guess I'll enhance something else then. So, feather is probably more worth it to enhance. Let's see if I have a, a double crit. Not double crit, but like an energy recharge feather. Do I not have one? Okay, I have this one. Maybe I'll enhance this one. Yeah. So this one for the feather. And then goblet, I'll just find an attack percent one that maybe has energy recharge as well on it. So I could just enhance it. Maybe I'll enhance this one to see if I can get energy recharge. HP. Okay. Let me see if I can hit some crit rates. Because I do need some crit stats, I believe. If I want to use full. Yep. Let's do this one. HP. Okay, this, this is the worst thing I can get. Alright, crit rate. Let's get some more crits. I don't care about crit damage, because uh, I only need crit rate. <sighs> okay. Genshin just says no to everything. Uh, I guess maybe this one? It has some energy. Okay, crit rate. Crit rate and energy, that's all I want. Okay, good. Nice. No, not nice. No! Okay, I got HP so many times at the end. Okay, let's just equip this one first. Whatever. Sans, maybe I'll enhance this one and get more crits. Well, not a crits, but energy. Energy. Stop giving me fly HP! Alright, Genshin, you want it. I'll jinx it for you. Give me HP. You know what? You got what you asked for. Okay, energy! No, energy. Stop! Energy! Energy recharge? Yes. Sometimes you just gotta shout at your artifacts for it to actually listen to you. Energy! Okay, attack is not bad. Alright, get energy at the end. Don't give me crit damage. Or flat HP. Ironically, all my pieces have flat HP for some reason. Energy? Okay, that only added 4%. You're just as stingy as uh, Genshin's Primo Gems. Okay. Now I need Feather. That's it. Okay, let's get more energy here. Don't give me defense. Don't give me crit damage. I want crit damage. Stop! No! Well, 
I'll see what my stats look like after my artifacts are all enhanced. <laughs> okay. Uh, so now I have a good two-piece, two-piece attack. With my offset being my goblet. Which maybe could be replaced as well, who knows. 24% crit rate. Okay, so this is pretty bad, right? If I want to use Volvonius, uh Codex. Because the crit rate is a little bit low. Why 2 piece 2 piece? Because she wants attack, right? Is that what she uses? Uh, weapon... What's my attack looking like? I have 1.7k attack, but I should level up to uh, level 90. 4 V is the kind of play. I mean, this account is animal only. Um, I also have other characters with Vivi already that I'm probably going to be using with her, so, like with my Xiao, so. This account isn't a normal account that you probably are used to. I only use animal characters. So I have other characters that's in my team that's VV. Alright, we got three again. I think Kendall will be giving me pretty good luck. I'm getting three runs, like, pretty consistently. So, but yeah, speaking of which, let me just also start leveling up my Xinyun as well, because she should get some level in. Um, I'll just auto add everything, I guess. So we get level 20. Let's see how far we can take her. Level 40. Alright, she's level 50 now. I can still keep going. Alright, level 60. Unlock the talent at level 70. I'm actually surprised I can take her up to all the way to level 70 until I rent out materials. Okay. Well, on the bright side, I can craft like two more of these now, so there we go. We have level 80. I'm like just running out of these chunks. Okay, I can actually take her to level 80, so. Yeah, I have enough materials still, but I need like more bosses and gemstones. How am I supposed to get any of these? Okay, I mean, let's just see how far we can take the towns in. So, I believe you level up burst first, right? So, let's get it up higher. Ooh, okay. Need more new materials. But let me just level everything up to 6. Besides the normal attack, I guess. Okay, level 6 skills. Burst. First, I guess. Level 7. Level 8. Nice. And then this one should be level 8 as well. Okay, I guess she's taking take it up to both to level 8. That's good. Okay, uh, let's see. What was I trying to do again? I wanted to level up Shenyun, but let me just fight the bosses first before I go. Because I need all the materials first. Okay, we need to do another fragile recharge. Hopefully I get three. Okay, it's over. My streak is dead. My Shenyun has this debuff. Is that for my weapon or something? Like, when do I get to heal? Like, how do I heal? Ow. I'm not even healing! This debuff is so strong! Usually a skill activates the debuff, you just need to heal more of that than the debuff drains. Well, you will die?! So, I have a weapon that basically is a ticking time bomb, is what you're saying. Who made me craft this weapon? I had to work so hard for this weapon by finding the, the ores. And this is what this weapon do to repay me, to craft it. And also my burst isn't really coming up as well. <laughs> I mean, I could definitely play her with, um, like, another Hyolo, like Hazel or something. My Hyolo Hazel. <laughs> oh, my, almost dead. Ah! There we go. Only good Swanee is a dead Swanee. Alright. Oh, wow. Swanee dropped a good amount of materials for me. I mean, I still need to do three more, two more runs anyways, regardless. Even if I get 2-2, two, two, then I will get 20. If I get 3-2 three, or 3-3, three, three, it's still 20. There's no way I I can't avoid doing another, like, skip another run. We are good. There we go. I mean, I don't really care whether or not I get 2 or 3, because this run, it's whatever anyways. Of course you give me 3 when I don't need it. Watch him give me 3 again. Of course I get 3 more. Of course, but yeah, finally done. I have enough boss materials at least. So let's go ascend her. Maybe we could take her to the base as well for a ride. All right, now she's level 90. My build right now is pretty good. 
Level 80, Flowing Purity. I can't really enhance it any further. My two-piece, two-piece attack. Uh, Talents are pretty much leveled as well, so I feel like she's ready for Abyss. Like, energy, I think it's good if I'm using four, piece, four animal team. Oh. <laughs> like, if I have four animal teams, I'm pretty sure energy is also enough. So, let's just try it out and see. But last time I got to 27 stars as well, so I think this this time around I'm going to do the same because Flow 12 has its winner boss, I'm not just going to... I'm just not going to bother at all. But yeah, let's see how big our shell can do now for damage. I think first team, I'm still going to use the same, I guess, team in general. Uh, Wonder... I mean, I could put, like, Sayu here now instead of Hazel. And then Fowl's on Venti. And then the second half, I'm just going to use... Kazuha, um... Wait, actually, I don't know. I was using Traveler, I think. I don't know why Traveler is here, just for fun. For physical damage and enigans, maybe. But I guess I could do this team instead. And, like, I don't have Farozan and uh, Shenyu together because I need one to, I guess, buff another. Okay, let's just try out Abyss first, though. Uh, my Sayu, like, I don't usually play with Wonder because I usually put him with Xiao. But now that we do have another healer, I could kind of separate their teams now. Wow, well, it feels nice to see five-digit numbers finally again. I was so used to seeing four digits from fighting a Suicune. Okay, but this is a true test. Does that need to soar here? But it's fine. Twenty k, forty k, fifty k. Okay. So I was supposed to do some 50k damage, depending on the enemies, because I'm using the deathmatch right now. But yeah, the first few chambers are still pretty bread and butter for this account. Uh, boss is almost dead, wow. So used to fighting the boss with like 10 hours to spare. I mean, I'm doing 50k, I think. I would say it's good without like Bennett and other external buffers, like Farina as well. Like, just with Shenyun alone, it's pretty good damage already. I really like, I don't know why, just like... Swirling in animal only as well. When they have like other elements for me to swirl, it just feels like very satisfying for some reason. 50k? Nice. I think that's a new record. Is there a way I could check my crit damage though, by the way? Like the highest damage I do? I forgot what the achievement name was because I kind of want to check it out and see like what was my highest damage on this account. Who knows? It might be Xiao just now. There's a achievement about crit, getting 50k crit damage somewhere. If you go at it again, it will show you the highest damage you have on this account. Okay, let me check it. So apparently it's called the Purveyor. Let's see how much damage. Oh, it's today. Wait, do I have to claim it? How do I check like individual damage? Like I literally just got it today after I get Shen Yun. But how do I check it? Is this still over 50k damage? I need to claim it, but what if I want to hoard the Primos? Yeah, I want to hoard it. Okay, I guess just for this time, just for this occasion. Wait, deal over 50k? Wait, 20. Wait, did I say 2023? February 4th? I think I said that. Okay, so that was last year actually when I did 20k damage. Wait, I did 15k? When was that? It was probably from an event or something. Okay, I have no idea when I did that damage. Okay, uh, Venti, get your burst back and then you can just do whatever you want to put enemies together. Nice. Oh. That got scrambled in together. Three more enemies. Oh. Got pushed a little bit further. Ah. I'm glad these enemies don't have any like animal resistance right now. So. Happy to see my five digit damage again. Wait, do I have someone? Actually, my Kazu is already using Favonius. But I'm not able to do consistent 50k damage, I think. So that's pretty good. Don't need my shell was able to do that much before. So Shenyu definitely helped out a lot after I built her. Okay, it's just me being greedy again. I'm trying to save my burst for the third chamber. But this is actually taking longer than maybe for me to get my burst back in the third chamber. Okay, at least enemies definitely have more thickness going into the fight, but... Still doing like 20k-ish, 30k maybe, so still able to kind of beat him pretty quickly. Uh, okay, so Floyd is pretty easy. There's like 79% animal damage bonus, so we shouldn't struggle on here, right? I don't know why though, like, Abyss 
Floor 11 in general always have this monolith protection now. I don't know why. Pretty sure in the past they kind of switch around. But now it's like all monolith protection. In the first chamber at least. But luckily this is easy though, so... Okay, let's see how much damage you can do to against this bunch of slimes here. If I can like stay alive before I start plunging. 30k. 57. Okay. I hear come the wannabe shells. They're trying to plunge attack me. So many bishops here. What? Hello. I really like your those of wind blades. Oh. I guess they enjoy being stepped on as well because they made that little sound. Like sounded like they enjoyed it. Broke the shield instantly. Fifty eight K? Okay, I think that's the highest damage I've dealt so far. Sixty three K. Ah! I can't have a plunge. Got frozen. Am I doing like physical plunges? No. Nope. Still doing animal plunges. I just realized Shao's plunge actually lasts so long as well. Alright. Finish. Oh. There. Okay, so this chamber mostly consists of the uh, Eon Blight. Oh. I thought I was using Shao for a sec. I kind of tapped my E too fast. We can I shoot these things down as well? Oh, yep. That's one down. Don't really need to shoot them down, but like. Do they lose resistance when they get. Down? I don't know actually. Alright. Come down. I should be able to finish him off. Okay, this should be fun. I'll be able to get a good amount of plunge attacks in. Gotta kill the Mirror Maiden because they spawn in separate waves. Ooh, 64k? Nice, 65k. I think that's like the highest I've dealt so far of Shao. Now my buff is gone, so can't really do it anymore. All right, 60k. Whoa, ah. Like animal only wise, this is pretty good damage. Without any like other supports. Whoa, 66k. I'm kind of like swirling as well, so I was able to do extra damage in. Ah uh, no, where are you going? That feels like a combo attack, I don't know why. First place stats- What? Okay, you know what? These treasure holders are like, annoying me. So bad. I just want a peaceful time with a mirror maiden. Okay. But I think this is the furthest I will go to Abyss because... My arch nemesis is in there. A.K.A. La Setek Wingnut. I don't know if I think. So annoying. But yeah, uh, I'm pretty happy with this team comp now though. Uh, did good work honestly on this account, so I'm proud of it. Uh, she definitely helped out Xiao a lot. So, I do plan on wishing for Xiao in the second half banner. But let me know in the comments if I should wish for the weapon banner as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.